Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, August the 28th. We're going to talk about how to keep our heart, our ticker, working good. We have an expert with her, Dr. Anand Chakolingam, University Healthcare. Good to have you here, doctor. It's my pleasure as always, Paul. It, 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 is, it is our pleasure having you here. You're, you're such an interesting man and he's got... He, he cares so passionately about your patients. I know that. Uh, but you're, you're a heart specialist, and we've had many different topics. Today, you wanted to talk about the importance of keeping a healthy weight on our body, right? Definitely. Now, if we're overweight, that puts extra stress on the heart. How do we go about losing that weight if we have to lose weight? Excellent. So first, let me answer how the extra weight affects the heart. The first thing that we are seeing nowadays is uh, weight-related issues. Patients ask, Doc, I've been heavy or big all my life. How come now it's a problem? But when we carry that extra weight for years and for decades, it adds stiffness to the heart, and the heart is not able to do its job. So we see a lot of heart failure just because of the extra weight. Just so, because of extra oh weight? Yes. We see plenty of it in people who are in their uh, 50s, 60s, and sometimes even earlier if they are extremely overweight. So th to answer the next question that you asked, which is, how do I lose weight? The answer is, I tell my patients, don't try to lose weight. Don't try to lose weight. Because all the studies we have done in the last 30 years shows that whatever weight we lose, in six months to 12 months, we end up gaining it all back within one to two years. That's what all the research is telling us. So trying to lose weight in itself is uh, likely to meet with failure in the big picture. So you have to change your lifestyle, don't yes, you? Yes, we have to transform the way we look at food. So people ask, which is the best diet? I would suggest not looking at uh, any particular diet First, we need to be a little more mindful or introspective of what excites us in food. Because many times it should uh, be not the unhealthy, packaged, uh, sugary stuff. It should hopefully be nutritious uh, food like fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. If we take enough time with our food, we'll realize that that actually nourishes us compared to the quick pleasures that we get from the salty and the sweet packaged foods that accounts for about nine out of 10 things sold in our grocery stores. Wait so, a minute, back up here. You're telling me that nine out of 10 things sold in the grocery store are salty packaged foods? Pre-packaged and uh, processed food, which is uh, hurting our health. So if we don't pick them up when we are at the grocery store, unlikely we will find them at night when we are a little hungry. So, so if it's not at home, we are not going to have it. We are not going to travel in the car or walk to the store in the middle of the evening. So when we, you are once in a week at the store, that's when you have to be that vigilant okay. as to what you put in your grocery so basket. you, you got to make this a lifestyle change, yes. trying to heat, uh, eat healthy. But you're saying don't don't really go on a diet. Is yes, that what you're yes. saying? Preferably, the emphasis should be on uh, eating meals uh, as a celebration rather than doing it as one more chore because people have too many things to do and eating food is sort of taken for granted. Mm -hmm. And it is done along with some other things like driving to work yeah. or like reading uh, the newspaper or being on their smartphones. So the food is not given the type of attention that it has had for like, several hundred thousand years. I like what you said, though. Eating food as, like it's a celebration. Yes, yes. So sitting down at the table, thinking about what you're having, and taking your time to eat. Yes. Right? Definitely. And if you eat slower, you tend to feel like you're fuller. The normal satiety response that our body is meant to have the fullness that we should feel, we will feel once we enjoy the food over 15 to 20 minutes, at least, preferably closer to 30 minutes for each meal. 30 minutes, take 30 minutes for each meal. So we can use that time as family time where we uh, use it to discuss with the family members about their day and participate in other my uh, small discussions, but nothing heavy discussion that takes away our attention from the food. Okay, so concentrate on the food, but take your time to eat the food and try to include 
the healthy foods in your diet and staying away from the prepackaged processed foods. So if you take a, your plate, it should have at least plenty of color to start with. It shouldn't be monotonous. And the color usually comes from the salad, fruits, vegetables. And they are not snacks. They are part of each meal. Right. Most people would do fine with three meals. Breakfast is important, preferably with some protein. And uh, lunch and dinner. With three meals, we can do fine. So the word that I'd like you to forget about is the word called snack. snack. We don't need snack. The word is used uh, along with most unhealthy things. So preferably, if we all stay away from snacking completely, we'll do so much better in the big picture. Okay. What about exercising? Exercising, many patients that I encounter are not able to exercise because of medical issues and other health issues, arthritis. And newer research in the last one or two decades is telling us that exercise is very important to stay fit and develop confidence in life and enjoy life. But to actually lose weight, exercise does not play a portion. It doesn't? No. Nope. I thought it burned the calories. That way we end up, uh, there are a lot of discussions we can go into, but bottom line, if we want to lose weight, it has to come from us choosing the right things, eating the right way, celebrating food, and taking time with it so that we don't overeat. That is okay. how to lose All weight. All right, but, but what you're saying, but you're not saying not to exercise if you can exercise. Because exercise that's, is excellent. The exercise, exercise is, is very, very heart. important for heart, for overall health, for our longevity. But if you are interested in losing extra pounds, the only emphasis you need to have is on eating right. Okay. All right. Well, that makes a lot of sense, would you say? And try to include a lot more fruits and vegetables. Vegetables, nuts, cereals, legumes, all these things are healthy. Some rice, pasta. The things to avoid would be anything that is packaged, any snacks, and well, also okay. all the drinks that we have, the beverages, uh, caffeinated beverages, and uh, soda. Stay away and, from those. And even energy drinks. Gatorade, Powerade, these things are meant for athletes when they are actually performing prolonged exercise. Not for the same athletes, I wouldn't recommend it when they are sitting at home. Water. Water is the Water is good. only good drink, right. if you want me to I, summarize a, it. A, a glass way. of wine is good for your heart. Too, wine too, is yeah? better than every other drink we talked about just now. <laughs> no. Yes, wine helps us live longer. So one glass of wine is good. One better glass of wine a day is good. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, good. Have it with your meal when you're celebrating your Definitely. dinner. Definitely. Doctor, Thank you so much for coming by. It's always a pleasure chatting with you. And if you want more information, you can check out the uh, doctor on MU Healthcare website. Pleasure being with you. All right. And please come back again. All right. I will do Something it. you'd like to hear or see, I'd love to hear from you. Pepper P. Missouri.edu. Bye-bye.